Let's check out three unique ways that Gravity can improve the Kafka consumer and developer experience. First up, protocol mediation, where we can expose Kafka as a REST API via the Gravity Gateway. Once we've created an API, provided a name, a version, and optionally a brief description, we'll need to select how we want our backend service exposed. In this demo, we're exposing Kafka, so we'll need to select the event-driven architecture. We'll also select HTTP POST and GET to enable consumers to synchronously post and get data to and from a Kafka topic. Starting with the context path, we'll need to define our HTTP POST and GET entry points. Then we'll select Kafka as our gateway endpoint. Then we'll define our bootstrap server and our list of topics to use. In this case, we're using a default get real-time weather data topic. We'll also be leaving this proxy API with the default keyless plan, but you have the opportunity to define security plans, which other videos go into more detail on how to secure. Then we'll save and deploy this API, which we'll be able to locate in the developer portal at the end of this video. The next way to improve the Kafka consumer experience through the Gravity Kafka Gateway is with the topic mapping policy. With this policy, the Kafka Gateway abstracts the complex Kafka names by allowing clients to interact with simpler, more intuitive names defined by the API producer. In this case, now let's look at how we can improve the Kafka consumer and developer experience with our last topic of this video, the Gravity Developer Portal. The Gravity Developer Portal empowers your internal and external users with an on-brand developer portal for your Kafka topics and APIs with documentation, search capabilities, and self-service subscription capabilities as well. This concludes just some of the Gravity features to improve the Kafka consumer and developer experiences through the Gravity Kafka Gateway. Please visit gravity.io to learn more.